Hi there everyone, this is Cloud Chief, and today I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about one of the new events in the 3.1 patch Diadem, or as a lot of people were calling it before the event was released as Skynamus. Although, this event isn't like Dynamus at all, it's a lot more like Abyssia from Eleven. Uh, Diadem has three different levels of difficulty, easy, normal, and hard. Uh, you can access easy and normal just by going and talking to the NPC and doing the event. Hard can only be entered with a free company airship. Each party of eight needs an airship. And the airship must be available. The airship cannot be out exploring. And you must unlock the ability to use the airship to enter Diadem. You get that by sending it out exploring. When Diadem starts, the first thing you need to do is unlock flying by examining four Aetherites. After you have access to flying, you will want to farm for chests. Chests drop from enemies if your party have enough hate on the enemy, the same way that it works for fates or hunt mobs. There are three levels of chests, bronze, silver, and gold. Bronze chests drop mostly 150 gear with a chance at 180 gear. Silver chests drop mostly 180 gear with a chance at 210 gear or even 150 gear. And gold chests at least have one 210 piece with a chance of having multiple 210 pieces as well as 180 pieces. The best way to farm chests is to stay in one location and kill the enemies in that area. The higher the difficulty of diadem you are doing, the higher the level of mobs roaming the area will be. Your goal is to kill enemies until you get higher level enemies, which have a chance of dropping gold chests. The enemies will have a rank by their name. This will be indicated by Roman numerals 1 through 5 or a star. 1 is the lowest and they move up through to 5, with star being the highest. When you kill an enemy, there is a chance that you will spawn another enemy or fresh track. Fresh tracks can be interacted with to pop a tier 5 mob or a star mob. Fresh tracks appear on a per party basis, so only the party that spawned the tracks can interact with them to pop the enemy. However, after the enemy is spawned, all parties can engage that enemy. It's common practice for several groups to coordinate so that they are killing enemies in the same area. This is a good idea because enemies will go down much faster and you will get more star rank mobs for gold chests. However, it is important to note that enemies in Diadem have a lot of HP and it can be challenging to take down multiple enemies at once. Unlike a lot of content in 14, Diadem is not the place for AoEing multiple mobs down at once. You will also note that when you enter, your party will be given a random set of tasks. When you complete three of these tasks you will be awarded 40 esoterics. This is worth doing and is a great way to get your esoterics for the week, but I suggest that your party spend the majority of its time farming chests. You are likely to knock out a few tasks along the way and then in the last 10 minutes you can finish up whatever is left on your list. Mining and harvesting is a fast way to get your objectives if you have multiple people who can work on it at once. However, it's important to note that enemies will still aggro you even if you are invisible. So it's a good idea to have someone pull the enemies away from the gathering points. Other tasks for hitting your objective are the black and white crystals. Note that you cannot hit the same one twice though. If you need to, you will need to find another one rather than hitting the same one multiple times. Typically there's an enemy by these points and if you want to just hit them without fighting the mobs you'll want someone to pull the mob away. An easy way how to pull mobs away is to be on your mount and then aggro the mobs and once you have whatever area cleared then fly away. This is the only way to lose hate as if you are on your foot running around the enemies will keep hate on you no matter where you go unlike a lot of enemies where they'll lose hate when you pull them out of range so my final thoughts on this event uh, a lot of friends of mine and even my roommate really like this event uh, it's a very laid-back event and it's a great way that you can get items especially for crafting and gathering for any armor that you obtain that you don't want, you can turn in for pirate points. 
These points can then be turned around to use to buy materia or even items for crafting and gathering. And some of these items are quite rare and they're very valuable to crafters. So if you are big into crafting, then this could very well be the event for you. Plus you do have a chance of getting 210 gear, which is always nice. As for me personally, I'm not super wild about this event as it is in its current state. They've said they're going to add more things to Diadem, which might make it more interesting. But as of right now, the biggest appeal to me is the 210 gear. But the fact is that the stats on it are just completely random. And even to the point where the stats can just be low. While the base stats, like your Vit or Strength or whatever the base stats are, are going to be fixed amount to whatever the 210 is going to be. Your other stats can sometimes just accumulate to small numbers on the stats, which I'm just not a big fan of. While you can get some absolutely amazing pieces, it's just, it's way too random for me, and it seems like you need to get a ton of pieces to even have a chance of getting a good piece. And even then, you're, you know, gambling if you're actually going to win the lot on it. So, I'll probably do this a couple of times a week, just f so it's have some time to be laid back and have some fun and get some esoterics but this is definitely not going to be an event I'm going to be spamming out and trying to get gear. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something got some value out of it and may you have success in all you do.